last year I did a project with Dr. Ogodot and Dr. Diddle comparing four different monoclonal antibodies that target CD20 to deplete B cells in treatment of multiple sclerosis. And we decided to do another project together this year. And so Dr. Obadot came up with the concept of looking at treatment disruption and potential relapse in patients who had to stay off treatment for a various number of reasons. So it was a pretty small study. We had seven participants. Uh, it was a retrospective chart review looking at patients who had to discontinue treatment. The main reasons we saw were pregnancy, which was four of our patients, so that was the most common. We had two patients who had infections, and then one patient who lost their insurance, and so they weren't able to access the medication that they needed. On average, the patients who were relapse-free were off their medication for 17 months. We did have one patient who relapsed. Uh, she had been off her medication for 24 months at the time of relapse, and she was one of the four women who, were pre who was pregnant uh, as a reason for discontinuation. It was really interesting because we actually had three women who decided to breastfeed, and they were able to do so for five months, which is really close to that six-month period of time that we recommend patients to breastfeed if they choose to do so. So that was really nice to see that they were able to achieve their goal. And particularly, it's those three months right after patients uh, give birth that they're at high risk of relapse of MS. So it's nice to see that they were able to be in that high risk period without relapsing. So that was definitely very exciting to see. So looking at this study, and again, it's small, so we'll need to have more research on this in the future, but potentially um, prolonging the period of time between infusions would be really interesting to see with patients and hopefully they'd be able to do that safely without risk of relapse. Uh, based on the study, it looks like that's a possibility. And I know there are a lot of other people who I've met at this conference too who are studying similar um, medications that are also having longer treatments, um, periods of treatment disruption too, which is really interesting to see. And it sounds like they're all getting really great results as well. So it's definitely a promising area. For this project in particular, we're going to start looking at B cell repletion and the types of B cells that are coming back and when they're doing so. So for these patients, they actually have samples that were collected um, during the period that they were off the medication. So we're going to go back and analyze that and kind of see how that all fits into this study and see if the time to repletion has any correlation to risk of relapse.